So here's the thing, right? Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love to do what I'm doing. I love just spending hours or even days on a, like it could be photos, videos, it doesn't matter. But if we do have a paying customer, we do have to make our lives easier and we have to make our times worth. So, exactly for that particular reason, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove or change your background color if you're shooting headshots or portraits. It's quite simple and it's going to take literally just a couple of minutes. So, let's get into it. So yeah mate, the reason why I decided to make this video is because me, like I found myself having this trouble a while ago. I got this task that I needed to change the background color of certain headshots and for some other headshots I needed to remove the person from the background and added something different so it was very complicated and I had a due date and I was like oh my god. I went full into stress mode but then I was like you know what like Google, Google the crap out of it. And after doing some research. I found this technique and I have to be honest until this day this is the one I'm using it takes literally a few minutes and it looks really really cool but you know what I'm just going to stop rumbling and I'm going to show you in Photoshop because it's quite simple all right guys so we're going to start off with this photo right here that I downloaded from Pexels by the way Pexels is a really cool website I am by no means biased but I thought this was a cool photo so let's just go with it so we're going to go from this to this so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and select our magic wand tool which is this one right here and once it's selected we want to go to the layer we want to work on which is this one we're going to activate it and as you can see we've got the tolerance number right here this is going to vary as you can see if I click on the background color we want to get rid of it's going to be something like that and just to give you a little bit of an example if let's say I put this to 100% tolerance there's more of this nice mustard going into her skin into the hair and we don't want that and if let's say for example I want to use for example five pick it up again and it's going to pick only certain areas so this field right here you need to play around with all of this area right here it's been selected however the darker parts are not so for that it's quite simple, all we have to do is we're going to press down shift, like there's a, a plus button that means that that is going to, to be added to our selection and if I press alt or option it's going to remove that part. So in our case we want to add this so it's going to be pressing shift and it's just as simple as that, just going to zoom in a little bit and again with shift I'm going to add this little part right here that I really need. That's our basic selection. So now you just want to go up to your tools hit select and inverse. Now that it's inverted, I'm going to click select and mask. And this is going to bring us to this new window right here. As you can see, this looks not that great, but that's not an issue at all. These right here are very important. The one we are going to be using the most is going to be the refine edge brush tool. The, the one that kind of looks like it's on fire and the one I also like to use a lot is if I make a mistake I just use the brush tool but I'm going to show you literally how to use them so the first thing we want to do is change our brush for that for Mac you're going to be pressing alt control and then by going up and down with your mouse you're going to change the opacity and the hardness of your brush and also its size so all I have to do is just paint So for this particular part right here, as you can see, we need to be a little bit more delicate. So I'm going to take my brush, make it smaller. Now, this is the secret right here. You just want to go very, very, very close to the edge of your photo. The less you touch, the better. So it's going to give you something like that. As you can see, that's quite soft. Same for this part right here. I'm just going to go like this. And that looks perfect. Just make sure you grab all those details and all the parts that you want to get rid of and as you can see I'm painting very 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 close to the, to the hair we do not want to go in like let's see if I can just see you kind of delete all these parts right here and you do not want that so I'm just going to delete that real quick but also you do not want those ugly lines right there because they do not look natural so I'm just going to keep painting this step 
might need a little bit of patience but trust me it's worth it and definitely even if it takes a couple of minutes it's going to save you a lot of time down the road and this looks perfect see and this is it the, the the perfect sample i was mentioning literally a couple of seconds ago i went too far so now i'm going to grab my brush tool and what this does is is going to paint back the area that i just got rid of by accident and just get rid of it and make it more natural looking So once you're happy with your selection, all you have to do is just click OK and it's going to look something like this. So all you have to do right now is go ahead and create a new layer mask. So we're just going to do that and automatically it's going to delete our background. Just to test it out a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, bring it below and let's add some grayish for example. So I want to fill this layer up, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Shift and F5 and that is going to bring this little pop-up box so all i have to do is uh, pick my foreground color click ok and it's going to look something like this this with the yellow parts actually doesn't look very real at all so if this is your case as well the solution is actually quite simple we want to create an adjustment and for that we're going to remove the yellow so for that we're just going to go here and select hue and saturation make sure it's at the very top of your image and now in my case it's just the yellow that I want to get rid of so let's attack those yellows. I want to make those a little bit warmer so they blend with the skin a little bit more so for that I just like to go with the saturation 100%. Don't worry this is not going to stay like this I promise. So now we're bringing this down quite a lot. Just like that it's quite simple but it's actually quite powerful. Come on man so what did I just say? You can't argue with these results. It's quite simple, you just need to be a little bit careful around like the, like certain edges, but other than that, you're gold man, you're good to go. So like I mentioned earlier, this is going to work better if your portrait or headshot has a neutral background, otherwise it's just not going to work. And you know, it kind of defeats the purpose of like the whole make your life easy type of thing. But anyways, like if you happen to have like a photo like this, give this a go, trust me, you will not regret it. If you like this video, do not hesitate to go bananas on that like button. Where is it though? I think it's over there, right? Isn't it? I don't know, man. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe for this and more content and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.